welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another grocery haul. This is a weekly haul, but there were definitely things on sale that I stocked up on. So as usual, lots of things are going to last longer than a week, but I went to Kroger and Publix today and also ran into BJ's for just a couple of things and I'll share those with you as well. Why in the world is my wireless bill so high? Well, I am back partnering with Mint Mobile today to share with you a little bit more about Mint Mobile and see if we can get that bill down for you. So you probably already know about Mint Mobile if you've been here around here a while. You know that I love working with Mint Mobile and you've probably seen those funny ads that include Ryan Reynolds. But did you know that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month? You don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They are on the largest 5G network in the nation. They keep costs low because they're selling direct to you online. So click the link in my description box or you can scan this QR code right here if you are interested in the best value in wireless. All Mint Mobile plans are going to include unlimited nationwide talk and text plus lightning fast 5G and a free mobile hotspot. Mint Mobile also is offering a modern family plan that lets you set up a super affordable family plan with as little as two lines. Switching to Mint is super easy thanks to their digital eSIM cards. You sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone isn't eSIM compatible, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Now, as a special limited time offer, it ends on July the 14th, so jump on it quickly. You can get their unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month for just $15 a month. That's 50% off their already super low price. Don't forget to use my link that is in the description box or use that QR code here on the screen for you and switch to Mint Mobile. Please let me know in the comments if you have already made the switch. I would love to hear your experience. And uh, let's get back to our grocery haul today. Thanks again to Mint Mobile for partnering with us. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I spent $60, just under $60 at Publix, and then I spent $12 and some change at BJ's, and then I spent $135 and some change at Kroger. So I'll share with you what I got, any coupons I used, that sort of thing. So Kroger is running a mega event. There weren't a ton of things that I needed from that, um, but I did take advantage of a couple of deals. Okay. The cut watermelon at Publix is buy one get one free since the 4th of July is coming up when I am filming this. And so we have a little bit of watermelon left from my monthly haul, but I went on ahead and grabbed some because it was half off and I was already there. Um, so it was half off of 926, so it was like 463 ish. Hot dog buns and hamburger buns, the Kroger brand, were 99 cents each with a digital coupon at Kroger, so I grabbed one of each of those. I did grab half a pound, almost half a pound, of the Wellesley Farms uh, turkey, the reduced sodium, and then a half a pound or so of their Beats and Watson roast beef. We got this in the monthly haul, and it was really good. So I got some more, and if you look at those prices, $3.41. $5.64 plus I had $2 off of the Deets and Watson. So I actually paid $3.64. That is much cheaper than what we have been getting before BJ's opened. So I'm pretty excited about that. $2.99 for these lettuce boats. Now I do have some lettuce in the fridge left from our monthly shopping trip. However, I went on ahead and got these because I am planning to make chicken lettuce wraps and I'm going to try to use those for that and I just wanted something simple. I'll show you the sauce I got to go with it too. Um, we are sort of home on a staycation but I am working but my husband is off this week so it's a whole thing plus we have a birthday this week and the 4th of July and all those sort of things so I'm just trying to make things easy. Um, but we do have plenty of meat in the freezer from the monthly shopping. Okay the home brand uh, which is like the public store brand they're 24 count plates, the 10 inch microwave set, or you know, the 10 inch 24 count paper plates. These are $3.99 each normally, but they were buy one, get one free. So I paid $3.99 for the two of them. 
part of the mega event were these Glad Force Flex trash bags in the Gain Febreze scent, 40 count here of the kitchen bags that they were $8.99. I did get two gallons of the Milo's half sweet tea, half lemonade because my, mom, my husband is home and he really enjoys that. Two gallons of whole milk was $3.29 each at Kroger. I had a free e-coupon for a silk almond milk, so I got the dark chocolate. And then two of the Simple Truth chocolate almond milk, they were $2.50 each. This was part of the mega event as well, the Dawn Power Wash, $3.29 for the refill in the apple scent. If you hear my kids, I'm sorry. It's just one of those days. <laughs> I worked this morning and, um, I had to take care of some things with my mom and the kids are playing and my husband is mowing the grass and you know it's like nine million degrees outside i think it is 98 degrees right now actual temperature plus a lot of humidity so there's a lot going on here so all that to say if it's loud i'm sorry <laughs> okay the beach babe uh not your mother's dry shampoo i've used that very rarely but i needed some so I got that, $2.99 for a two pound container of strawberries from Kroger. We have a few left from the monthly haul, but I wanted to go get some more since they were on sale. Okay, the panko breadcrumbs, I had 80 cents off of one, so it made the private selection with that coupon $1.19. Sociables crackers, those were $2.99 as part of the mega event. The chicken and a biscuit family size Kroger brand were $3.79. $3.79 for the Milo's unsweet tea. Um, I am not actually sure. I want to say these were about $8 for this six pack of the limited edition Krispy Kreme donuts, but the girls are excited about them. This, this is different. It has two red velvet sparkler, two chocolate iced with sprinkles, and two freedom flag donuts, which are like the yeast ones. Um, so, that's pretty cool. I, I, we'll, we'll all have some and then they'll be gone. Okay, um, this top sirloin for stir fry. I do actually have steak in my freezer, but I'm gonna throw this in some marinade now um, and let it marinate for a couple of hours. It's not as long as I would like, but it'll still make it tender. And um, this was $10, much more expensive than what I've been buying and just cutting up my own steak. But anyways, I'm making steak quesadillas as an easy meal tonight, and I wanted some already cut up, so there's that. I didn't want to have to thaw meat and all of that. Okay, the Main Street Bistro sides were half off with the buy one, get one free sale at Publix. I only have to buy one, get it half off. Anyways, these were these roasted garlic and Parmesan, no, roasted garlic and rosemary potatoes were... I think it was $2.99 for that side. Again, thinking easy and not having to heat my house up. Okay. Um, turkey kielbasa. This was the Hillshire Farm brand was buy one, get one free at Publix as well. It made it $2 and some change for each of those. And then I think there's a dollar back on two on Ibotta. I think it's that brand. I'll have to double check and submit my receipt. Mini donuts, I got the powdered donuts. This was before I realized I think that I was getting these, but anyways, they were $2.19 at Kroger. Okay, it makes them $3.75 each if you buy at least four um, of the soda 12 packs at Kroger. So I did stock up. Again, this will last us a very long time, probably about a month, if not more. And that's counting having people over and all of that sort of stuff. Anyways, <laughs> I got five of the 12 packs I got a Dr. Pepper Cherry, a Dr. Pepper uh, Strawberries and Cream Zero Sugar. I got a Coke Zero. Yep, a Coke Zero. And then I got a Pepsi and a regular Dr. Pepper. And if I would have been smart, I would have grabbed one more Dr. Pepper because I did have an additional dollar off of three Dr. Pepper products, but it's fine. It's fine. We, we don't need another one anyways. Two. 49 as part of the mega event for these Sunny D watermelon pouches. I don't know. We've never tried those, but I thought the kids might like it. And I was looking for one more item that was fairly cheap with the mega event. Okay. Hellman's mayonnaise is buy one, get one free. They are $7.59 full price for the 30 ounce at Publix. That's insanity, but it made them a little over $3.50, like $3.60 something, I think, or $3.70. 
Anyways, then I had a dollar off one. I thought I had a $5 off coupon that was gonna work on the two, but it didn't, so I just got the one. Okay, or I just got those, I just got the $1 off and that's okay. Well, it's still a decent price for mayonnaise, it just wasn't gonna be the deal that I thought. Okay, $4.99 for the Claus and Pickles at Kroger, that's outrageous, but it is what it is. I got some of this queso dip. We've never tried this Cacique brand, um, Cacique, but I think we'll like it. Um, we like other things from that brand, and that was $4.49 at Kroger. Okay, the Belgioso Parmesan. I got a freshly shaved and a freshly grated. Four ounce packages were $1.99 each because you see they're normally $3.99 at Publix, but they were part of the buy one get one free sale. Okay, at Kroger, the Bumblebee tuna pouches were still $1.19, so I grabbed four, two lemon pepper, and two Thai chili. Yep. Spicy Thai chili. Um, my husband really enjoys having those for lunches, so I like to have some on hand. And um, my 75 cent off of four Ibotta rebate did reset on those, so I was gonna go ahead and submit that again for those. $3.29 for this chicken lettuce wraps cooking sauce. Typically, I would just make my own sauce, but I really like the P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps, and so we're gonna try it and see what we think. The only thing I didn't get is those crispy things, whatever, like the rice, crispy rice noodles. So I'll have to get some of those. Um, I've got to get a couple of things from Target for a birthday. And so hopefully they'll have some. If not, we'll eat it without it and it'll be fine. So again, $3.29 is expensive for just a sauce package, in my opinion, but it's gonna make it easier on me this week. Okay, now my husband still has a card and I have a card. So you can get up to five on each card with a digital coupon for the Kroger brand cheese. So I did two separate transactions. So I have 10 packs of cheese total. Um, I got one Swiss, they were all $1.49 each. So I got one sliced Swiss. And then I got three of this queso quesadilla cheese. I think this is supposed to be very similar to the Chihuahua cheese. So hopefully it is, cause that's what we like with our steak quesadillas. So I got three of those, we really like using that. I got two whole milk mozzarella for homemade pizzas and um, you know, whatever we end up using it for. And then these will freeze beautifully too. And then I got four cheddar jack because we use that on salads and quesadillas and like if the kids like thing, eat, whatever. We eat a lot of cheese, okay? So I stocked up because it was $1.49 for eight ounces. And then we just needed some Swiss cheese. Okay, $1.99 for the flour tortillas, a 10 count Kroger brand. These are just the normal, you know, like eight, what is this, like an eight inch or seven inch size, something like that. $2.50 for the Kroger brand pork sausage patties, $4.99 for a rotisserie chicken from BJ's, $4.99 for a three pound bag of mandarin oranges from Kroger, and then I think I had a dollar off of a bag of apples, so I think it made it $3.99 for a three pound bag of Fuji apples. So I got those. The Bugles Ranch Flavor. I thought my husband and kids might like those. I am not a fan of Bugles in general, but I thought they might like to try that. It was $2.99, which is not a great price, but it was part of the mega event. And it was something new I thought they might wanna try. So I got it. Cape Cod chips are $5.29 each at, at Publix, but they were buy one, get one free. So I got a sweet and spicy jalapeno and a sea salt and cracked pepper. And then I just wanted some plain wavy chips for a dip for the 4th of July. So that was $3.29 for the Kroger wavy party size chips at Kroger. I think that's it y'all. It's a lot of stuff. Um, full table of things for about $200. So I don't think we did too terribly badly. And like I said, sodas are going to last a month. Chips will last more than this week. Cheese is going to last us a month. We'll definitely go through the produce. I'll have to restock a lot of produce next week because we will have worked through what I got last week and this week. And then just some treat things and some BOGO deals. So I think that we will be good to go. Um, yeah, let me know where you're shopping this week. What deals have you found and how are y'all doing? If you are new here and you have made it this far, well, I am so glad. Please leave me a comment down below and introduce yourself. Say hi. I always love getting to chat with y'all down in the comments. You know, that's one of my favorite parts of YouTube. So be sure to say hello if you've 
never said hello before or if you're new here or if you've been here forever and you always say hello say hello again i always love chatting with y'all anyways that's all i've got i gotta get this stuff back in the fridge and uh get stuff put away and marinate that steak so we can have quesadillas for dinner okay that's what i've got for y'all thank you so much for joining me and until the next video i will see you in the comments down below